Hello, Sanvia community. I am Kailani Goodwin, a Sanvia ambassador, Mazani artist, and co-founder of the Textbook Collective and Global Artistry Council. I am so excited because I'm gonna be sharing with you today two ways to do uh, curls for a great base for hair styles for the 40s, 50s, 60s, and 80s. We're also gonna show you how to transition styles between the 40s, 50s to 60s and give you some examples of what that looks like, okay? So to get started, of course, in order to get any set started as if you're curling, whether you're doing a rollers or using a curling iron. So today we're gonna to be using electrics, but we need to start with sectioning and we'll be using our Sanvia Artist Series tail comb. In order to get our sectioning started, I already have her pre-sectioned. You're gonna take your ear to ear parting, so just behind the ear with the tail of your comb, go all the way to the other side. Then at the center of the eye, you're gonna create your uh, first part going to that ear to ear parting, okay? So let's tilt that. So your first part going to your ear to ear parting from the center of the eye, and then you're going to clip up with your Sanvia dry sectioning clips. And I love these because of the silicone strip in them that allows you not to put a crease in the hair. So we're gonna twist and clip that up. You're gonna do the same thing on the other side to create this side panel, which then creates your top square panel right here, okay? In the back, you're gonna have three panels. This is how you're gonna break up the hair. Now, if you have someone with a larger head or wider head, that has or more dense hair, you might need four panels, but for this size head, we did three, okay? Now, ideally, what I like to do when I start my set, I like to start in the back left, because I'm a righty. So I'll take this hair down, and I'll use the back of my tail comb and create, start creating my subsections no wider than the width of the curling iron that I'll be using, okay? Or if I was doing a wet set, no bigger than the roller or rod that I'm using. And I would go up and complete this section, this whole panel, then go to my center panel and start um, and last on my right panel, okay? Then I'm gonna work my way up horizontal subsections through my two side panels and then end in the top. My top panel, I would be doing rolling back or curling back and starting from this ear to ear parting. And my last subsection will be um, close to the front hairline, okay? So I've already almost completed Josephine's hair. So this is what your set would look like. Back left, center, and then your back right. Okay, I came up this panel horizontal for today so that I could demo on the side and you could see how my iron was. I did the whole top panel. So you see that I've curled back. These are all on base curls, okay? On base is gonna give you the most volume at the root and give you the most lift. So now I'm in my side panel. So I've already done my first two subsections in this side panel, and I'm gonna do the last one. So this section is a little bit too big. So remember I said we're gonna split our subsection. Or we're gonna split our section so that our subsection is no wider than the width of our iron. So today we're gonna to be using the Sanvia Artist Series 2-in-1 Marcel Curling Iron and Wand and we are gonna keep our tongue on because it rolls and gives us that Marcel effect. So after we've sprayed the hair, uh, or if you prep the hair with a setting lotion before you blow dry it, then we're gonna come in. We're gonna roll under and flip that piece out closer to the front of the iron. You're gonna to try to keep your barrel as close to the base as possible by opening and closing your tong. It's gonna to allow you to rotate your iron and feed in that hair that was sticking out at the front, okay? Until you get it all the way in because you don't want any fishtails. 
I just like to hold it for a couple seconds just to kind of get the heat all the way through. And then you're gonna kind of click and start sliding your iron back out of the curl. You're gonna set it either with a duck bill that's flat, or you're gonna set it with a single prong clip that you would use for pin curls, depending on how wide the section is that you're curling. And then you're just gonna clip it on base. So that was a crokinole curl. Next is our figure eight curl. So with our figure eight curl, you're gonna come in the same way. So remember, we're holding our iron, so as if you're doing a handshake, your three fingers are gonna go on the top, and then your pinky's gonna come underneath, okay? So come under your section. You don't wanna clamp it down right here like this because you'll create a crease there at the top. What you wanna do is kind of roll the barrel of your curling iron before you close it, and then this time your curl, uh, your hair is gonna go around the back part of that hair that's wrapped around the barrel. Then you're gonna slide it out a little bit, so you should be able to do this with your uh, figure eight. You're gonna slide it towards the front and then start rotating that barrel until this hair is gonna come to the front. Okay, so when you start to feed in the hair, you want that hair to then live at the front of your iron, not behind anymore, because it'll be too much too harsh on your wrist. When you do that and get that flip, that hair should end up in the middle, okay? And then you're just gonna keep feeding it, so just like you did for your crokinole, you're just gonna keep feeding that in and trying to keep it close to the base as possible, okay? Once you have that last little bit of hair under your tongue, you're gonna sit it on base for a couple seconds and then click until you're able to pull your iron out. Then we're using our flat bill because of the section, how wide it is. And I'm gonna clip that up on base. So this is how your finished set would look. Ideally, you want all of this to cool off so that you're able to brush through and manipulate the curls that you have just set in the hair. So this is Tina. She has her 40s look already. So once you have your uh, hair all set and it's cooled off, you can take your Artist Series, your Sambia Artist Series uh, polishing paddle brush that has nylon and boar bristle in them. Breaking up the set is doing is you brushing through the hair and making sure that you are breaking up all of the curl that you just created. But you see, it gives the hair a lot of body. So this was more of your 40s look, right? So we broke up that uh, base, and then I used four bobby pins. So let me show you. Just took this out. So there's four bobby pins. I separated the hair in the front, kind of at a diagonal. I used my polishing brush just to get all of those curls together, and I wrapped that hair around my fingers. I did a press, I pressed back here on the side. Put one pin here. And then in the front, I gotta figure out, you know, I have to figure out where I want that, that roll to lie. And I wanted a little bit of a point. So you see the inspiration over here to my left for this look that was created. And then I can go down the center of this little barrel and then bring it up. I did the same thing on the other side. And then in the back, I brushed it all down, but then I activated or broke up the curls to get some more fullness and roundness behind this area. Here, okay? So you see that shape that it created. Now, if I wanna transition this to say like, a, let's say Marilyn Monroe or Jackie O look, right? So now we have the 40s and 50s, and, or, and 60s actually. So 50s is more your Marilyn Monroe. So if I wanna get my Marilyn Monroe, get all the pins out. I can brush this back, because I have this awesome set. 
and bring this hair over. Get that nice little curl going on in the front. And I have my Marilyn Monroe inspired look. So what do you think? So here's an example of, you know, that Marilyn Monroe look. So that nice volume in the top, if I wanted to have more volume, I can always go back in and back home through this area. Now, if I wanna to transition to the 60s or that Jackie O look, all that is is me bringing the hair back and down through the sides with my polishing brush, get more volume through that top. and then start getting my shape together. So I can do the same thing on the other side. Just do a little bit back combing with my brush. So that it just leaves like a nice curl at the bottom. And then I would spray profusely. <laughs> I'm using the camera as my mirror right now. <laughs> All right. So then you have more of like your 60s, uh, your 60s look. So more of like bouffant or um, just higher volume, but still nice and smooth. So that's it. Thank you so much for joining me today. I look forward to being tagged in some of the beautiful uh, creations that you make. Um, from today's tutorial, you can find me at Kai Goodwin. Also make sure to follow uh, at Sam Via Hair and all of the ambassadors that we have. And we have amazing tutorials and classes coming up. So stay tuned.